now it's that snow again, bringing out the biggest crop of headlines since Victory Day. And here in the Air Ministry headquarters, London, is one of the men who are telling you all about it, Chief Forecaster Marshall. The recent very cold air supply from the continent has been cut off for the time being. The outlook beyond Wednesday continues to be doubtful, but there is, on the whole, a possibility that conditions will become less severe in most districts. Now, before Mr. Marshall says his piece, he checks on wind, temperature and air densities from mid-Atlantic to Siberia. He draws graphs and works everything out to three places of decimals. Even our old friends, the Gulf Stream and the depression over Iceland come into it. It's all very scientific. But it still doesn't enable the experts to see beyond the day after tomorrow. We wanted to hear the worst. So we went where you find the real weather prophets. From his farm near Colchester, the forecaster Edward Aylett. I don't take no notice of the experts. I go by my own judgment. And I think we are going to have a very hot and warm summer. To prove Mr. Aylett's words, the next day we actually saw the sun. Look at it. So now you know. Forget what it's like outside. Think of that wonderful summer we're going to get. <laughs>